Hi students, in this video we're going to look at Pearson's correlation coefficient. Right, so after watching this video you should be able to explain what Pearson's correlation coefficient is used for and then also use it to describe the correlation between two variables. Right, the biggest thing you have to recall is how to describe correlation between two variables in a scatter plot. So we're talking about things like strength, direction and shape. Those ideas and how we use them to describe the association or correlation between two variables. All right, so Pearson's correlation coefficient, sometimes it's just called correlation coefficient, and it's been given the symbol R, so lowercase r. Sometimes you can also see this capital R, but it's R. But now it's used to quantify the strength and direction of the correlation between two variables. So what we're talking about here is strength and direction. Right? And basically, when it says quantify, we're basically getting a number. So a number that tells us the strength and the direction. Now, key thing to note, it can only be used for linear correlations. Right? Now, looking at our, um, look at this scale here. So Pearson's correlation coefficient goes between one at the very top to negative one at the bottom. Okay, uh, all of these values in here, where the R value is positive, that's going to be a positive correlation. And all these values down here, from zero downwards, those are going to represent a negative correlation. So this makes sense, positive R value, positive correlation, negative R value, negative correlation. Now, um, the actual values themselves, uh, one will be a perfect positive correlation, negative one will be a perfect um, negative correlation. And then we can use our adjectives as we go through from there. So between 0 0.75 and 1, you'd be talking about a strong correlation. In the same way, between negative 1 and negative 0 0.5, we'd be talking about a strong correlation. Uh, then a moderate, a moderate. between one quarter and um, one half, and between negative a quarter and negative a half, that will be low, low. And in the middle here, uh, we would then go no correlation. Um, either side of zero there. And so once we have our value for R, once we have our correlation coefficient, we can actually write our sentence that describing the trend in our data really easily. All right, so here are some ideas for what shapes can look like. So notice these first ones, they all have positive correlation. So our graphs are all heading upwards. These bottom ones, the graphs have a negative correlation and negative R value, so they go downwards. So we've got a moderate, um, moderate correlation in this first one. And you can see the dots they're obviously heading upwards. Right? There's not, there is an obvious trend there, but the data points are not exactly on the line. Um, this weak correlation, um, there's still, again, an upwards trend. You can sort of see generally things are moving upwards, but again, the distances between the data points and the line has gotten much bigger. And the same for the negatives in that space too. Um, but that just gives you an idea for what our values look like um, when you actually graph them and what they look like in terms of a scatter plot. All right, so looking at an example here, the correlation coefficient between two variables is negative 0 0.85. Comment on the correlation between these variables. Okay, so um, a few things. First of all, the negative sign here. Let's rub that out. Let's try that again. The negative sign at the very front here tells us that we've got a negative correlation. 
So negative correlation, 0 0.85, that's actually strong. And so we could say we've got a negative or a strong negative correlation. What we can also say is because we're using a correlation coefficient, those can only be used for linear regressions. So we've got a strong negative linear correlation um, between those two variables. All right, so after watching this video, students, you should be able to explain what Pearson's correlation coefficient is used for and then use it to describe the correlation or the association between two variables.